I thought he Morbius feeds on plasma and not blood because now he's not an actual vampire. Have you ever, have you ever gotten licked your way to the center of a hyperlink? I think not, sir. <laughs> That's what. How you many think. licks does it take to the, get to the center of a URL? I don't know. <laughs> And welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin, that is Jordan, and over there is Pedro Mateus, together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, joining us live, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Yes, a lot to talk about this week, but a couple of things. Jordan, we played some Dark Alliance last night. They finally oh fixed God. it, they got everything updated, it's been months since I've touched it. Holy hell, you still <laughs> constantly have to fight. If you're not fighting the camera rig, you're fighting the auto lock on to fuck nothing. Yeah, that's it's it's real bad. I was expecting, you know, it's it's been a year, year and a bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, and after after that, like really horrendous launch, you would think like Cyberpunk had a really horrendous launch. They pulled it together. They put out that patch that I it's absolutely hate state now, right? because right. yeah, except for you oh, know making, making I, my build, making my build completely useless oh, now. I tuned in and you were mad, so <laughs> mad. I'm, I'm st- I still haven't forgiven CG CD Projekt Red for that. I'm 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 going to hold that grudge for a but, good um, long while. Yeah, we got through a little bit of Dark Alliance. Uh, Netjack video is out finally. People seem to like that. It's got like 1,200 views, people. And I've got a couple of the responses that I was looking for. Somebody going, I did not know that was possible. Yes, I am going to start playing with that. And that's what I want. I want people seeing what Linux can do. And speaking of what Linux can do, I'm not going to blame Linux for this. Jitsi is continuing to be Jitsi. Our multi-week uh, issue of, Jordan, what was your ankle? Mc- uh, I forget the Oh, name. man. Sl- uh, sloppy yeah. fart McThunderpants or whatever. Like that. Yeah. There was an update to Jitsi, and we have our own Jitsi server, and uh, they didn't tell anybody, and just all of a sudden, the head username show up on the single shots. I'm like, well, okay. Thunder smacky ankle pants. <laughs> yeah, something yeah. like that. And it was kind of irritating. I'm like, how do I get rid of this? And I'm hacking, and Pedro's like, well, we can just take it out. Like, uh, after all it is. <laughs> Good, okay, right. <laughs> html elements and move it out there That's and <laughs> i've been digging rent. my workaround was like i'll just disable that and everyone was going to be named dot and uh, i finally found in true jitsi format they added a new line for configuration in the jitsi config that didn't tell anyone about it or it's, <laughs> yeah. not, it's not even available in existing installations i had to add the new line and so yeah Yay, small victory. <laughs> Documentation, what's that? <laughs> hey, man, you know what you're going to get with the Jitsi. And you know what? For what will we pay for it? Good product. Mm-hmm. Good product. Uh, that's that. What is peaking? What is peaking? Peaking is when is is, is a strategy in, in powerlifting and weightlifting where uh, you go from, like, really, really high-volume, lower weight work to... Um, to low volume, high weight work. And the idea is that gives you a lot more practice with that high weight to increase your top end strength. So I've been doing that as part of my powerlifting programming for a month now. My joints are killing me. My CNS is completely fried, but it's over. I get a week off and then I'm going to see if I can squat 600 pounds. Yeah. Hopefully I don't snap in half. (laughs) Not that I would ever wish for that to happen, but if you plan on filming it, I do, as a matter of fact. So you will you will see the success or the failure. Uh, Bonnie knows how to get into Discord, right? Yes. Okay. Just... The computer is just on, so you can just wiggle the mouse. Well, like that. I, 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 I have, I have, I actually have OBS on a laptop set up in that room. I could, I could live stream the thing. I naturally, assume you will be too busy celebrating. So I just wanted to make sure that you would be able to. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. How about you, Pedro? I, uh, well, I did something that I should have done a long time ago. I cracked open the Steam Deck and I replaced the 64 gig EMMC module with a 256 gig uh, SSD. It's, yeah, it's only a 256 gig model, but um, it, had I known uh, it was going to be that easy, I would have done it a heck of a lot earlier. So but, how is uh, Steam OS in Greek? <laughs> That was the language. It cycles through the languages. That was the language that was when I took the picture. But sure. uh, yeah, it's um, it's really easy, and the recovery image is also stupidly easy. There's just a re-image icon on the desktop. You tap that, the terminal shows up. Yeah, there you go. I, I mean, <laughs> they they expected people to be wiping that Steam Deck and like installing God knows what on there, so they that they had better. It, make, it is a computer. They specifically said you can install whatever you want. So all right, <laughs> we were talking about that in the pre pre super shows. And go back and listen to that if you're a patron. But yeah, I mean Valve. I think for the best, they made that. Here's how you disassemble it. Video 
overly scary. Yeah, yes. no, because uh, we, we were <laughs> talking about it. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I just stabbed the battery with my screwdriver, right? That's uh-huh. how you get it out. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You say that jokingly, but man, I've like, you know I, what? I'm, yeah. I'm not okay. joking. I'm dead serious. Yeah. Here's the real thing. Have you ever gotten to the point of trying to get into the vice? You're like, you know what? I'm prepared to break this at this point. You know yes. what? Yep, Where's yep, the knife? Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I want to get in there and it's not letting me, so... Yeah, now, 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 now we apply force. <laughs> every every young boy reaches that uh, boy and girl bad because that, that is a yeah. universal like you know what fuck. That's that, a right? human yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 Oh man, unlike the horse, definitely not a human thing. <laughs> the horse is not a human thing, although it strives to be. One day, maybe if it absorbs enough man flesh, it could one day become <laughs> the steam. Oh, 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 Yes, and you know, speaking of Steam Decks, because that seems to be the Linux gaming news, at least the lead anyway, uh, the new uh, CMOS 3.2 update is out, and yes, if you were looking for the big beta roll-up that comes with the 40 to 60 hertz refresh rate change on the fly, uh, and the ability to basically plug in really fancy in-ear monitors without getting uh, white noise. You can do that too. Uh, It comes with the newer uh, fan curve, which supposedly makes it quieter if that was a thing that was affecting you, uh, particularly at, of course, the cost of some added uh, Celsius on your CPU, which was kind of inevitable if it's spinning less, you're going to have to deal with a bit higher temperature. That that's just how it goes. Hmm. What's the Celsius? It's like a thermo feed. Yes. Mm. <laughs> it's how, how the non imperialist come Fahrenheit. <laughs> so, Kelvin? <laughs> Listen, man. Some people like the hipsters. Like Americans are hipsters, man. They're old school. The, the freezing point of Brian, parts. man. <laughs> But yeah, it is It is actually, this is the update that you really want if you have a Steam Deck and you've been a little bit uh, iffy on the opting into the beta channels. This is the stable update, so update as soon as you can. It's got all the goodies. How's the uh, refresh um, rate work while in-game? Uh, some games, it works exactly as you expect. You change it and you just see... If the game is has the physics tied to the frame rate, you will actually see it slow down. Uh, most games actually handle it pretty well, and you don't really notice anything except that the estimated time on the battery goes up. Obviously, my brain just went to this the, question uh, chain branch prediction of like, okay, is Cookie Clicker Steam Deck certified? <laughs> I, I, I was going to ask: Does um, does uh, the deck do uh, the variable refresh rate? Because I know that's for uh, in Kernel no. five eighteen. That's that's going to be coming like for everyone. On, uh, on AMD. Yeah, the I don't think that panel specifically can do it like that and actually <sighs> tie it to the refresh on the game itself. But you can change it on the fly. That 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 mu- very much works, and which is really nice. And there are some games that as soon as you try to change it, they will crash. Mm. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna say just like as an aside, uh, the free sync. They're working on getting like a legitimate like certification that mm-hmm. you have to meet within these requirements so we can stop these dark age of years of free sync. Like I have a, this 48 inch monitors free sync air quotes around it because it goes from like 48 to 60 sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, yeah. the, the base free sync window, this, this yeah, the, UHD uh, screen is the same the, thing. The, the, the base VRR thing in the display port protocol. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah, so they're working on that. That'd be interesting. That was a little bit of an insight. That's good to know, but kind of the big news, like last week we even mentioned it. I fixed it. They were like, oopsie doodle. We released the thing. Well, a number of things, actually. Uh, they released the, not just the guides and everything else, but also the replacement parts, like Valve said that they would a long time ago. Uh, when Well, two months ago when the Steam Deck came out. Uh, they said, yes, yeah, we will be offering replacement parts like the analog sticks and screens and batteries uh, and all of that. <laughs> SSD. There's the SSD jacket. That's very useful. What does that Because you can just like? replace SSDs. <laughs> I didn't actually put it in my mouth. <laughs> Probably <laughs> not as good as a Nintendo Switch Fail as a tech reviewer, Matthias. <laughs> yeah. Clearly, yeah, no, that was a missed opportunity. But uh, it is, uh, you know, barring the self-aggrandizing title of the article, how well is changing game console design. Uh It's almost as if you're the primary provider of the replacement bits. But, you know, that sour puss as I may be, um, 
It is. I, wa- I want to live in this universe where you're taking that out with fucking tweezers. <laughs> You might they, they lift the little photo. flap no, to no, remove I, the... <laughs> I have these tweezers. I have ceramic tweezers. That get like, and I think about it. I like. I get the motherfuckers out, Pedro, because I bought them to do this shit with. And I start trying to do that shit. I'm like, fuck this. And I just oh, no. Take, what, what, what's great, too, is if you grip a little bit too tight and the thing goes flying swing. out of... Yep. 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 <laughs> Whee! Yeah, no, I use the tweezers usually to lift the flaps on those ribbon cable connectors. And then I just, with my fingers... There, gone. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, I fix it. They're selling it. And well, when you not, not compare anymore. it, well, some they're of the sold, stuff is still out. available. <laughs> some of the stuff is still available. A lot of it is no longer available. Uh, but it yeah. is, yeah, it, it, it is a market change from the rest of the consoles out there, so, like your PlayStations, your Xboxes, and your Switches. You don't get this level of openness. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, this is this is pretty this is pretty comprehensive. But yeah, like I, like I was alluding to, uh, all the batteries, uh, fans, and left joysticks are gone. Yep. And I don't I don't imagine that it's even people who have problems with these things. They're just stocking up now that it's available. They just want to have them. So well, just yeah, you absolutely want to do that. Now, what I want to know is I have not seen a clear answer because nobody's got the parts in it or done a video on it. Is can you swap out the uh, screen? You know the big fancy glare resistant. They do have that. Uh, they, they have, have it for sale. They, they sell you the complete kit with all the bits you need to replace it. Yeah. Will it work on my basic bitch? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know this for a fact? It, they're uh, it, the it same. It's just it's just the ribbon cable, right? It's the HDMI thing. Right? <laughs> yeah, but you got different. Yeah, I'm just saying, like Valve's like, let's make sure these parts don't get mixed. Yeah, up. So just, let's, just, it, just that, hard-coded yeah, EDID. In, uh, it's yeah. the same skew. That, that wouldn't make sense so for them to, to... To get back let's... to the audience, no, <laughs> nobody knows that for a fact, so we're waiting on somebody to do it to confirm it. But it sure. should work. It should work. I mean, I went they, looking they, they for They are selling the, the part screen. for it, so... <laughs> they sell the part, doesn't... Ah, listen, I'm just going to wait, because that's one of those things, like, well, of course that'll work. This is me, and like, doop, doop, it doesn't work. Huh. It, it, oh, they're no, not if, if Apple I try to do it, with it the work, M2 chip but. that uh, actively restricts specific uh, model IDs to specific oh, No, 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 that's, that's cuz th- those aren't solid state drives. Those are raw storage modules. The storage yeah. controller is on the SOC. <laughs> let's let's be real. Anyway, Pedro, you're going to order the screen though. And yeah, I was going to order the screen. It's like, okay, uh, can I get the anti-glare screen for the 64? And they're sold out in the UK store. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you, so you gotta promise me you're promising the, the audience though even if it, somebody <laughs> manages to get gets a hold and they do it and like for some reason this doesn't work you should, you're still getting the screen though right <laughs> L- if they get it before i do it, <laughs> then i won't no <laughs> uh-huh. but if i do it first and it works then i'm going to rub it in someone's face <laughs> i don't have who, a who, who's, yeah, so. <laughs> who, who, who's face pedro give, give, give us your list <laughs> I'm just exercising <laughs> caution for the audience, but yeah. Gur, guard, audience. guard your face. Errant Mateus is maybe about wanting to rub you. Oh, man. I know when I see a change log, that means Proton Experimental updated. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah, you gotta you gotta go into the Git diff to figure out what the hell is up with this. Yeah, but this is uh, we, this is the latest Proton Experimental. Uh, they added support for V Rising, MechWarrior Online, small radios, big televisions. Can we just dial it back for a second? Because uh, well, I realize, like, I know a lot of our audience is seeing this. Okay, we're at GitHub. What yes. has to be done? What are, what are the difference between the reds and the greens? How are so, how are we sussing this out? All right, all right. so let, let, let us explain the patch format. Anything red with a little minus next to it is getting removed. Anything green with a little plus next to it is getting added. And you can see the line numbers match up. You see seven is getting deleted, and then a new line seven is getting added. Makes sense. And the new line eight, nine, ten, yeah, all eleven. The, all, all the way up. All the way up. To I realize number, we gloss uh, over stuff like this sometimes. Yeah, and you, and you know, and you know that that's that's a fair point. And Not if you want to get to that screen on your own, you can just click. If you go to the uh, wiki uh, and the Proton GitHub, and you click the change log, there's a bit at the top that says 185 revisions. You click on that, and you tick the revisions you want to compare. And then so you Linus, the compare Linus button. Tech Tips. <laughs> now you know. Now you yeah. download it, um, right click, save as each. Yeah, yeah I got it. Um, but yeah, they they uh, they they added uh, they, like I said they added stuff for some new games. Uh, the Final Fantasy XIV online launcher is uh, working again. Street Fighter V is running at higher frames a second. Mini Ninja can actually use a controller now. Um, 
There's there's something called the Room Four, which has nothing to do with the Tommy Wiseau movie, and I'm no. very very upset. Oh, why? <laughs> my my heart my heart is broken. Everybody betray me. I fed up with this world. Dude, and also, this uh, is like talk about like a PS One game that needs to exist. Right. The, the Room. There there was there was a flash game of the Room on Newgrounds that was actually really good. Oh man, I believe you, it. You, you end up fighting aliens at the very end. Tommy Wiseau <laughs> ascends and get after he kills himself and has to fight like the alien god. It's crazy. Some, like yeah. frog fractions type shit. <laughs> not 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 quite, but it, it definitely it definitely it follows the movie very very closely up until the very end, and then it goes off the rails. Oh man! All right. Um, yeah. But yeah, I got dude. bitten by Ooh. the uh, Outward Definitive Edition, which they've now fixed the intro videos for, uh, which I was not, uh, the, the for, for the first time, I was not uh, appreciative of it, because that meant I could just start the game and it would automatically skip the intro bullshit, and I would land on the main menu and just start the game. Now I have to wait for the unskippable bullshit. Uh, yeah. Come on, Val. <laughs> hey, man, Valve cares, and we can prove it by next story. Oh yes. <laughs> so, uh, if you uh, if you've been paying attention to the developments of uh, Team Fortress Two for a while, you might know that the game is basically unplayable because every server is instantly filled with bots, and then the counter bots that show up to kill the old bots so that other people can actually play. Which then the the super bots show up to kill the counter bots, and we've got this escalating arms race. The people have cried out to Gaben, "Save our game!" And Gaben whispered. No. Well, yeah, he, he said, <laughs> I heard you and sat on his butt. So actually, well, we, we do get it. We did get a response. They said, we heard your response. We're going to, we, or we heard your outcry. We know you love TF2. Thank you for supporting it. We're going to look at, uh, we're going to look at doing something about it. And I will honestly wouldn't be surprised if Valve did something about this because they do tend to react once the public outcry becomes too loud to ignore. Uh, yes. <laughs> like, how do you get Valve to do something? Bitch online. Loudly, yeah. yes, for, for, get for an as extended many, period of time, right? Yeah, as many uh, uh, media outlets as possible involved, and then they have to go, okay, fine. Unfortunately, though, if it if this, this is about we're talking about, they're, they're a money making corporation, and if it comes down to money, there's not much more growth to be had for TF2 at this point. It has any hats handy. Yeah, like pe- pe- people, people <laughs> were all about the hats a couple years ago, uh, and now it's it's kind of cooled down. The people there are the diehards, and anything that comes down the pipe is basically charity. It's saying thank you for supporting us for so long. The pessimist, this pessimist in me, is saying, you know, they're just going to go to dedicated servers only, no server browser. You stick with your communities, and the pot will the pot problem will fix itself. Um, but they may actually do something to combat the problem. I don't know. It, it's again, it goes back to the arms race thing. Any sort of anti cheat technology, any sort of anti bot technology you put out there, it's going to be very quickly hacked to bits and overcome because that's the nature of how uh, cybersecurity works. The, this is the, true. Yeah. So. Um, you know what? You know, that, that just brings me back to it, man. Because, yeah, remember the simpler times when Valve just sold hats and we were all happy and everybody got along. But TF2 showing up on Linux hit me like at the peak of like, I am fucking done with anything first person shooter. Because <laughs> that's all. <laughs> You're not tired <laughs> of open arena then? <laughs> open anything like Quake Engine based. And like, that's kind of all we had for 20 years. And uh, I made it once or twice might have played it but yeah it's hard for me it's a pretty old game but valve's got pretty good history though look at a uh, uh left 4 dead 2 like left yeah. 4 dead 2 is not in shambles no and, and uh, even like, left 4 dead 1 the servers are still up for that and people can host they're, their they're, own they're going they're going back and they're adding like vulcan <laughs> support to portal so like like i said it wouldn't surprise me if they did do something i know what they could do to fix it because there's something that left 4 dead 1 and left 4 dead 2 have that um team fortress 2 doesn't have Price tag. <laughs> well, yeah, no, no, there no, you go, Val. Hats, no, no, so, no, yeah. it, make it no, 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 make it no, 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 Oh, man, we do have a couple of new games, something we've reported on in the past, but it wasn't in the Steam segment. It is a little thing called Fly Dangerous, which it's Elite Dangerous, right? 
Well, the the racing for Elite Dangerous, anyways. There's right. a there's a bit of a racing scene going on there. People like making really fast spaceships, uh, but you know, some people don't like playing the whole Elite Dangerous game. Some people can't even get it working under Linux because you know the account link thing between yeah. Steam and Robert Space Industries doesn't fucking work. But uh, the, <laughs> that's beside the point. Uh, people people like the racing game and they just want to do the racing stuff. So there was a project we covered in the news segment about um, that made just the racing, and now it's on Steam. Early access, release, release, yes, release and state <laughs> release. of play, every baby. Uh, yeah, I tried it out. Uh, first thing out of the box, Xbox controller didn't work with it, not even a little bit. But you know what? I decided to use the I don't have $1,700 worth of flight controller option, which is a keyboard. <laughs> control is up and space is down. And you know what, kids? You know what? That's the kind of default mapping I would expect from a serial killer. <laughs> now, uh, it is... 100% more game than I was expecting. You know, it's a more gamey in time. Let me get to the Steam page, get an idea of it. It's early access, completely free. But yeah, there's like 14 time trial maps, uh, multiplayer, technical preview right now, no competitive game modes yet. Leaderboards, they're working. And you can even, uh, Pedro, you'll love this part. You can play dress up with your ship. Yes. <laughs> And uh, the, the the thing I noticed on the trailer was uh, when a uh, person there finishes the race, the metal attribution screen, very, I very similar one to One Track yes. Mania. Ding, <laughs> ding, ding. ding. Uh, okay. All right. I see. Uh, this does, the other thing, too, this does support VR on Windows, not on Linux, but I don't think that that, that cross section is very, very small, though. So I don't think uh, I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue if you're going to I like be competitive this. like racing I'm down with this. I'm down with this. I got to figure out, uh, you know, if it's just, let's see, what are our system requirements? Ah, four gigs of RAM, nothing, nothing, nothing. infinite terrain generation benefits linearly from oh, OpenGL 3.2 in 2022. How dare you? Hey, man, it's vintage. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that works. <laughs> yeah, track media, but, you know, in space sometimes, but with wings, I'm down with this. Uh, yeah. Arcade mode. <laughs> arcade mode. I, 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 want an, I want a track mania level arcade mode, though. <laughs> arcade level because here's the beautiful thing about track mania this is something we do on two uh yeah wait, two, uh, tuesdays and fridays we have our own uh, track mania league that we play at linux aimcast and anybody can step into track mania because they get here's the reason why it's two buttons <laughs> it, it, it's go and stop and everything between that but there's millions of common permutations you can make from that i want something like go and stop maybe slide and rotate but that we don't need to bring um pitch and yaw too heavily into <laughs> integrate that uh, to say the right analog stick right like, <laughs> just just, mm. just give me a butt slide yeah. that's all it says like right button butt slide and, uh, cool i can handle that so uh yeah go play it it's completely free all this is gonna be in our show notes after the fact so don't worry about it uh yeah it's witching time yeah, it's the game based on my favorite Vin Diesel movie. No, not not that one. Different one. Okay, this is uh, Witchcraft or Empire Legends. All right, stop. What? <laughs> what? Alternate timeline. Vin Diesel cast as a Netflix series as The Witcher. Does it work? Maybe. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, oh. it does. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's Geralt and Riddick are basically he, the same character. He's got yeah. on a horrendous toupee. <laughs> No, Everyone's no, 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 gonna but, mock that, but uh, no, I think no, the no, voice no, no, fits no, no, no. and like the no, action. No, it's, it's, it's it's gonna be like uh, it's gonna be like Henry Cavill's mustache in Justice League, except it's gonna be the CG here. <laughs> and at the end, you know, it's just like Trish and uh, uh, what's her name, uh, Jennifer and yeah. uh, uh, Cersei. No, Siri. 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 Yeah, and he's gonna be like family. Yeah, 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 yeah no, it, Ro Ro Roach gets replaced by a fucking Camaro or a <laughs> yes. Fuck now, yes. Okay, okay, I would ne Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. Seriously, <laughs> give us a call. Uh but but so uh th this is coming soon. We don't have a price on it. Uh release date, quote unquote, when it's ready, 2022. They're really hyping up the magic system here. There's like the four elements, earth, fire, water, air, and then there's like the in-between elements that you can master. Um, so I, I'm curious if this is going to be something similar to how, uh, Magicka handled their magic system. Uh, but apparently the quest of this game is to go find the fifth element, Bruce Willis's hair. Oh, I thought no. it was Mila Jovovich. <laughs> no, she, 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 she wants Bruce Willis's hair. That's, that's why it's all <laughs> okay. gone. It's so rare. It's the fifth element. It's pixel art. I mean, I could be done with it. It all boils down to like gameplay, right? Yeah, it, it, I like me some Metroidvania emphasis on the uh, the Vania. Uh, but uh, yeah, 
I, I also look forward to playing it when it's ready. Mm. <laughs> hey, we'll keep our eye on it. But what about them legs? Spider quap, spider quap, control <laughs> spider, make a drop. Seriously, this, this is the, the whole plot of Joshua's legs. You are a two-legged spider, and each joystick yeah. <laughs> controls a leg. It's straight up fucking spider. Can we get some multiplayer on this? Please, some, some deathmatch on this? Come Twitch on. Plays. It's getting over it with a bipedal spider Joshua. Uh, that's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gimme. This, 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 looks, this, looks com- this looks like it's either going to be completely amazing or complete dog shit, and I can't tell what, what it's going to be. It is an early access. You can pick it up for about 10 bucks now. It's in. It's 30% off. So... Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, and also, yeah, they say on the outset, don't try and play this with the keyboard. You need a controller for spider Clop. You need the analogs, yeah. <laughs> Aw, spider drop. Oh, uh, 979. I don't know where I'm at with this. Uh, this rewind. Oh, look, we can rebind controls then, probably. Um, do, do, do. What do we need? Uh, if it's rewire, then it's going to work with whatever controller you throw at it, because that's just SDL2. I, 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 I think they were just saying rewire <laughs> yeah, your brain I know. to work. Shut up. I want to believe. I am taking out your... Okay. I, brain. I, okay, this is something... Brian. Let me be real with you, my man. Uh, let me be real with you. Uh, you need a demo for this. Cause yes. Yes. On here's the hard sell. This is like Steven Sausage Roll. You're looking at Steven Sausage Roll, you're like 30 bucks, get fucked. You play it, mm-hmm. you're like, I understand that. This. This, this is a case of that because you're looking at it graphically, you're like, yeah, that, no, not 13 bucks, bro. And you give a taste, a little bit of a demo because maybe it is there. And you're like, oh, I get it now. All right, this is worth yeah, this. Maybe, It'll save maybe your like refund the, the count clicks. as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. I'm, 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 I'm sure this might get some YouTube views if, like, the game Grumps and Markiplier or whatever get a hold of it. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which, uh, you know, the downside of that is I know firsthand of, like, a reasonably famous YouTuber, like, reviewing your game and the direct correlation to sales. Because mm-hmm. this person didn't know. I hit him up. Somebody I knew. I'm like, yo, did you see a sales spike last week? I'm like, no. <laughs> Mm. Ha, huh, why did you ask? Like, really? Ha. Huh. We're talking a video that had like 300,000 views on it too. Like, okay. People like to watch. I but that, and that's the thing though. Some games like benefit better from watching someone else play versus playing, right? Like getting yeah. over it with Bennett Foddy is the premier example. I don't want to play that fucking game. <laughs> I, there I, I love is that. And I mean there's always the argument of like, you know, if somebody can get everything they need from your game by watching it maybe you go back what's and re- the time traveling teenager game oh i mean that, that, that that's Spider-Man? any that's any point and click adventure that's what uh no. life is strange <laughs> life is strange yes no that that for me was a much better experience watching someone else playing it because if i had to play it i would have been mad well, let's be honest let's be honest <laughs> i mean like uh life is strange might have even had this mode if it just had play mode like yeah, just or, right. or don't require any, input there. Any, any David Cage game, Detroit Become Human, well, you got Heavy Rain. That, yeah, yeah, but I mean, then you have the opposite because I I gave this a retweet earlier. Uh, Wolfenstein: The New Order mm-hmm. was on like eighty percent off, and it was. Uh, I will keep saying this: that was the best independent film of twenty seventeen, and it's the exact opposite. I played the game to get to the next cutscene. Like I like I. Oh, that was a great movie. I had a game somewhere stuck in between it. And that's the mm. equation that you want to be on, not the other side, right? Yeah, yeah. You you, you really want that that plot like being the main incentive for drive in for for progress for progress, right? Like yeah, right. for progress, progress, progress. Show title. <laughs> okay, Psychonauts Two is out. They kept their word, man. Double Fun's like this is releasing next week. Hey, it's next week. Guess what? I'm playing Psychonauts because I am. You're wondering about it. You know what Psychonauts 1 is, right? I would assume. Maybe. Everyone yeah, should have played it, and if you haven't, yep. it's pretty cheap. Go get it. It's been don't, around Don't get it on Amazon, though. Oh, no. Awesome. no. <laughs> I played it. Answer a couple of questions. It's Unreal Engine. Controller support. Xbox controller worked out of the box. It's got windowed and full screen. It's choose your own adventure in windowed mode, though. You know, you're going to get like that 720p or 1080p, and you drag to wherever you want it. On the 3060... 60 plus frames per second at 2160 with everything slammed over to YOLO, but I did have the render set at 75% instead of 100 because that's kind of where it was at. And I'm like, yeah, that's good enough. Uh, it's about a 26 gigabyte download. And I just thought it was really nice to Steve O to come back and, you know, reprise his role <laughs> as Raz. 
I mean, <laughs> that, that was that was dope of him. Hey guys, how's it going? Man? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I, I've listened to too many Steve O Wild rides, and like soon as Raz is like, man, that that is that that is one little EQ bump away from Steve O. Hundred percent is all that is. But Can, is, is someone going to do like a, like a? They're going to swap out all the dia- Raz's dialogue from Psychonauts with like Steve O quotes. <laughs> Could be possible. It is available. Go pick it up. And uh, here's the thing: not one, not two. I think last got out of like five people had come back at me and said, "But it's sixty dollars." Allow me to retort: This is a triple A game. No, that's, this, that's, this that's is what this you pay for it. better than what you would expect from you know Double Fine. Like Second S One was really good for its time. This at no point in this game did it not feel like it's a $60 game is what I'm trying to communicate. All Production the voice acting, there. all the graphics, uh, performance. I mean, everything is tied together. I mean, it's a $60 game. Yeah, no, so, it's, it's, it's really good to hear about the performance too. Cause like I said last week, UE4 under Deck. Linux is yeah, not, not the greatest love story. So yeah, loads are good. Uh, yeah. it is using Vulcan. So didn't have to worry about that. And, uh, yeah, crazy performance. I guarantee you, like it runs great on the steam deck at, you know, 30, whatever you can probably run it at 60 on low. 40 just use 40 you get exactly uh the mid or the midpoint between the input latency that you would get between 30 uh and 60 is at 40 so write it at 40 hmm. the median of 30 and 60 is 40 so that makes sense yeah. what if i only get one eye open gripping your pillow tight <laughs> exit light life hack uh hi lars um <laughs> Fire bad. Hashtag. Uh, so, cursed. I didn't know what cursed is. Jordan will tell you in a minute after Pedro gets done explaining why this uh, young lady is going pew pew. Uh, no, uh, Jordan's the one who's going to bring up the young lady uh, in the short shorts. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no. yeah, no, uh, cursed food, uh, or uh, as I had to Google, and fuck you, game, for making me uh, Google this Cuisine Royale Second Edition ful- Fulfillment of All Desires. It's not even that great of a uh, an hey, acronym. We played some stuff from Dajin. What the fuck? <laughs> oh man, this looks like somebody uh, like made what the. F- All right, this, yeah, it, it, this, it, this, it, this is some a, UE4 ghetto shit. <laughs> it is. It is absolutely a battle royale type of situation. Think uh, your um, PUBG's, uh, your Fortnite without the building, uh, and it is well. I got in, I played a, l- a little bit of it, I killed someone, and then I picked up their gun, and the recoil was so bad that it disoriented me, and the person I was shooting at killed me. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, for those of you who don't listen to Dark Throne, uh, first off, shame on you. Second of all, FOAD stands for fuck off and die. Uh, get some damn culture. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's free to play. Uh, you can buy heroes and pay to win bucks. They're about 12 bucks Canadian per thing. The one thing that got me is like realistic weaponry, brutal fights, but also magic question mark. I don't know. Uh, what I did notice that is, is that if you scroll down on the game page where they have some of the game art, there is a very, very bootylicious model there. Uh, I don't know why it's there, but it certainly is. Yeah, there's a gif of a lady running in short shorts. It starts with the lady running. It's supposed to show the blink ability because she's supposed to teleport behind the... Can, can sure. we just go back to the late 70s, early 80s? Because I'm assuming dudes in some short shorts like we were discussing in the pre pre yes. show. Yes. yes. <laughs> we we're, need equal opportunity booty shorts. Pedro Thank had you. to resize. The shorts were too I powerful. I had to make that JPEG 95% quality because Discord would <laughs> not take it. <laughs> Their packages were just so big. <laughs> violated Discord's file size On the topic of Cursed, I, I was curious. I mean, it's free to play. I was like, you know what? I'm going to download it. And I did. It's about 11 gigabytes, if you're wondering. And uh, I started it up, and I was met with this across three monitors. Oh, boy. <laughs> See, for me, it tried to stretch across both monitors, but then crashed. And when I launched it again, it worked fine <laughs> on one and, monitor. Um, <laughs> it was not even to a state where I could get to an options to unfuck this. So I knew that would lead to having to fuck with a configuration file and i ran out of those particular fucks i was just talking about so it got on you could just launch again uh, in that one you could just kill it and launch again i was giving you everyone else's reaction who didn't give a fuck i'm like nope don't care <laughs> yeah well, i don't know man listen it needs some it needs some work it's in it's still in early access though right 
no, no, it's not, that's not, never mind. Uh, yeah, it was that's, released that's on the 2019. <laughs> yeah. Then, uh, never mind. Hey, it came out on Linux uh, this it's week. It's a yeah. free to play game, and if you want the full game, it's $196.89. Yes, for, for for all for all the DLC and the pay to win bucks. Yeah, well, I mean it's oh. the skin pack, effectively. <laughs> oh, speaking speaking of uh, DLCs, GG Techland, man. Oh right, Steam, yeah. yeah, they're giving them all away. <laughs> yeah, so uh, fi- Final Eight, a game I have not played, but I have heard. I, I know several people, including these two psychopaths, who played. They seem to like it. Uh, yeah, uh, and uh, this is the this is the final patch before uh, everything gets shifted over. All the development effort shifts over to supporting Dying Light Two, which recently came out. Uh, so, Enhanced Edition comes with all the DLCs to anyone who uh, has the base game. Probably real shitty for everyone who paid for those DLCs. Real mm-hmm. nice for everyone else. Uh, beyond <laughs> that, the final patch is mostly balanced stuff. I read through a little bit of it, and it doesn't make any sense because I have not played any Dying Light. So I'm going to assume that that you is... You know they're serious when they're using sparkles, man. Sparkles? Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, new blueprints, bug fixes, new events. It's good stuff. If you uh, if you haven't checked out Dying... Or if you own Dying Light and you haven't played it in a while, all of a sudden now you have a shit ton of more content. So maybe it's yeah. worth a look again. Dying and there's actually a... a couple of the DLCs that introduce new areas. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking about maybe getting a some people together and maybe go back doing another playthrough because I mean it was fun Pedro and I had a reasonable time going through it right yeah, right up until the ending yeah, that there, it was then, single then it player ended. ending and uh, uh, quick time events yeah, right that happened <laughs> uh, but outside of that I mean it was parkour zombie smashing so it did that but a dubious claim this was the first game I this is before we had steam refunds where I had to write a letter to Valve to get a refund for this game <laughs> Because it released at at the time with uh, on a 980 at 1080p, it was struggling to hit 40. The Linux version, and I was like, no, Mm-mm. no, it runs great. That island when it first came out on Linux did the exact same thing. <laughs> Dying Light was terrible. Bad. Like I was like, I refused to play it. I was like, it's ridiculous. And I bought it. It was on sale later on, so we were able to go through it. But it's good to see that they did this, and um, yeah. That's Everyone cool. gets the complete game, whether or not they bought all the DLCs. Which is nice. I know it's going to make some people upset, as Jordan was saying, like, oh, but I bought all this DLC. And like, don't you want everybody else to have it? Because it's going to help the multiplayer last longer when everyone yeah. else yeah. has the DLC, right? <laughs> yeah, for for the, I'm, and I mean, like, Dying Light Two just came out, right? Like, there's a brand new game. I, I I would say it's fine at the end of Dying Light One's life cycle. Yeah, just, mm-hmm. every everyone has everything. It's they've made their money, whatever. Yeah, yeah, that is absolutely fine for the game that you're no longer planning to support. Let the people who bought it have access to everything. Make it free. Yeah. Give away all your DLC and Epic buys you. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Fall Guys. Um, all right. Coming up next. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Arthurin has a website that will tell us. Well, wouldn't you know it? The news, they're coming, and uh, it, hopefully, or maybe unfortunately, depending on how you want to look at it, it's not going to be as big a segment as the Steam news just were, so don't worry about that. But uh, we will make sure to pat it out with some shilling right up top. How's that? I don't know. It depends on what's in my dishwasher, because I was just thinking about I, that. I was like, I have no idea. I haven't used it in so long. There very well could be some ancient relics in there. Hopefully. Oh, man. <laughs> Hopefully there's, there's a civilization food in the there. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Two out of three of us have a dishwasher here, so if you want to help Pedro afford his <laughs> so he can keep his fingers unraisined, you can head over to patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast and become a raisin. No. Uh, click the subscribe <laughs> button. Uh, you, you get access to some cool stuff by becoming a Discord or not. Uh, yes, a Discord. Patreon. You, you too. You you can get, become a Discord. You can like, become a Discord. You can get you access to our Discord sh- oh. uh, by uh, joining to our, joining our Patreon or uh, on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv. If you sub to our Twitch. Hit that, that subscribe <laughs> button, yeah. Uh, what else? You can get access to the show notes, get access to the pre-pre-super shows, and early access to the videos that have been put out. If you wanted to get an early peek at NetJack and be the cool NetJack expert and press your friends, and when they when they oh, show you a, that, a, a video, you that. be like, that's, no, that's I when you got a stuff. chance to help shape things you can walk in and be like yo i got some ideas and that's when i put things up for ideas if you're ever like hey man maybe you should have taken this direction or included this you get that opportunity yeah, you're helping us a, out you get a little a bit of tester. say so in the things man 
a little yes. bit of a beta tester, beta reader. <laughs> yeah, um, you can even buy your way onto the goddamn show. Uh, but, you know, if you want to game with us, we can do that uh, on Thursdays occasionally and definitely on Tuesdays and Fridays we do Track Mania. Um, We're there racing right. around the tracks, man. Pick it up right yeah. now. It's on, like, Wicked Crazy Cell, part of the uh, Steam Zoom Zoom Cell. Yes. Zoomy Zooms. All right, we we got to thank uh, we got to thank uh, new or a new patron, uh, uh, Unoid. Upgraded, increased, upgraded. Right. Pat- he is yes. now an executive producer, so he gets his name at the top end of the credits. Hopefully, Ven added it there. I did. Uh, other, I did. Otherwise, but you also get access to the pre pre super shows and video version. That's true. Live, very nice. commercial free <laughs> on YouTube. It's crazy. Uh, we got a store as well. Store.linksgamecast.com. Buy right. some t-shirts. Buy some better. coffee cups. Buy some stickers. <laughs> All our merch is there for you to, you know, put, put where, where the shirts on your legs, where the stickers over your eyes. Do whatever you want. I'm not your mom. Uh, where, drink, drink battery acid out that. of a coffee cup. <laughs> I'm your mom, Pedro, so go to your room. Um <laughs> Put your head back in the dishwasher. It's not done. <laughs> Put your head back in my womb, Pedro. You're going back up in there. Uh, we, uh, we, damn it. <laughs> Would you be doing that? Okay. What? what Side what? jack. <laughs> I was like, one of the first things I was thinking about, like, because I've seen like the desktop dishwashers, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, you're going to be looking for the switch to try to cut on with the door open, right? Like at least once. Yeah. You're like, yeah, what's going on? The only thing I've never tried that with, microwave. <laughs> You're going to get a bit of a Randy Marsh syndrome? <laughs> not going to fuck around with a microwave. Man. I got too much respect for microwaves. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we got uh, we got wish lists as well. If you head on over to linuxgamecast.com, put your mouse over the support button. I have one. Ven has one. Pedro has one. Jill has one. Buying Ven, buying stuff off Ven's one gets you some na- gets your name on the glowing wall behind him. You can force him to get carpal tunnel by having to handwrite your name on our increasingly <laughs> you small surface area. You writing, man. There he is. I know, it's, it's bad. Right, hey. um, but uh, if you buy any of us anything, you can send us a little note. We got to read it on the air. This wasn't on, well, I guess this was on my Steam Woolish list, so I got to thank Mr. Foxdog for sending me Dark Alliance Bang. so I could suffer alongside <laughs> Ben on Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I'll, I'll be giving him my thanks later after, as, I, as I slide the knife across his throat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Don't promise a good time and not deliver. Man. <laughs> no, You're going to have to fly to Australia first. Because <laughs> I'm going to be in that. Australia. Yeah. D- difficulty multiplier surviving in Australia. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know about that. That's not a knife. Uh, <laughs> Is he still, no, let's not go there. Anyway, what I do know about <laughs> is anti-cheat on Linux, and it still works 100%, like 60% of the time. Sometimes you you're, you have a better chance getting working anti, anti-cheat on a Call of Duty game under Linux than most other things. Are we anti-cheat yet? Dot com. It's a handy little tattletale site. It um, lists out in a not very conveniently searchable graph format, but a graph nonetheless um, of... Uh, Various anti-cheat implementations, whether or not they have support under Linux via Proton or Wine, uh, whether they're being planned, whether they're broken, whether they work, whether you need to do some sort of workaround to get them running. Yeah, uh, to the absolute shock of no one, EAC is leading the pack with busted Denied. stuff. All but five VAC games have ex- explicit full support on Linux. The rest do seem to work according to this website. I don't know, maybe maybe send some hate mail if you have some contrary information. And yeah, all the Call of Booties, except for the latest Black Ops have functional anti-cheat under Proton, which I think is interesting. I don't... Yeah, I mean, 100%. Like, my first thought was, you know, looking through these, and you'll see, hey, it requires Proton G. You're like, that's neat. And another one, like, hey, it requires a workaround. And, like, I was, uh, uh... It was, like, Halo or some shit like that. And I was scrolling through, and it was like, oh, support might be at... No, su- plan, support plan is what I fucking saw. And I went and I clicked it, and it was some site speculating about possible support i'm like get the fuck out of here with that all right do, do a little more research on these brief plans like oh microsoft has said something about no they hadn't uh but yeah it's a list of games that i'm gonna say probably the three of us majority of them never played because reasons right it wasn't gonna happen. I'm, I'm not super into call of duty yeah like well i mean all the other things man uh, like fall guys are I mean, paladins back for blood we wanted to play that and I, couldn't play that i, I for want a while. paladins <laughs> paladins is the I'd, I'd one like some I'd like some vermintide too, please. Yeah, you please. Would like vermintide yeah. too. And <laughs> it, it's just like the list of like stay away games. Having this is good. And also, it's really good because if you see the blue teddy bear and it doesn't work, that's just somebody being a little bit lazy. 
not wanting to cue and all right, man, I shouldn't say lazy. You got to convince somebody at the studio, like, hey, flip a bit, do the thing. <laughs> and hey, if or you someone... do, okay, here's the thing though. If you do it and you're public about it, you might get bought by Epic. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to say. As someone who may or may not be looking to be on Tim Sweeney's payroll. Uh, but the, the 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 denied ones were the ones that I was looking at. It's like, okay, let, let's go see what happened here. And yeah, there's Vermintide 2, where the denied one links to that blog post that everyone on Linux already cringed at and said. It, it caused Valve to come back the next day with an article to say, Basically, they're full of shit. This is how you do it. We you were, don't need special versions. This we is were, what you we do. We were monitoring that Steam Depot for a while because someone's like, yeah. oh, man, they put, they put the library up there. They're fucking around with it. This, so. Somebody get curious. Now, here, check this out. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you works with dangerous patches. You lutris. <laughs> I, you know, you the know, most I dangerous too, patch like of all. I, too, like click to live on dangerously. It. <laughs> like, it's, too, it's too dangerous, Ben. You, can, you can't. Like no, no, seriously, this is not even a hyperlink, man. Like, this but is yeah, no, there's a flat pack that lets you run Genshin Impact. It's an anime game launcher. If you Google for that, you'll find it. <laughs> Here, if you need to get it up and running, just hit Civic up in Discord because that's literally all he plays. Yeah, from uh, when he gets up and goes to bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't he be playing Skullgirls? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying, man. The man's uh, waxes and wanes with the anime. <laughs> Waxes I mean, and wanes we, with the we, animes. There's plenty of weebs on our Discord server. It's fine. I think we there, like there's more weebs anime than around here. weebs at this point. <laughs> yeah. High System 76 employees. Hello! The entirety of System 76. Quite a few. <laughs> All right. Uh, open MW, Pedro. It's shiny. Oh, yes. There's a lot more shinies coming. Uh, in fact, that that is effectively what they're calling it. Shiny new things are coming. Uh, and yes, they are introducing post-processing, uh, which is something that the original uh, Morrowind did not have. It was all flat lighting and uh, like lighting orbs in specific places to create certain effects. But now they're actually introducing post-processing. I can see from the screenshot there's some global illumination the new fog uh is it's if you're looking directly at the thing you can see clearly more clearly through the fog than if it's in your peripheral visions to get that radial effect and the shadows seem to be a little softer instead of just being the typical shadows that you see in video games so that that I, I am very much looking forward to this making it uh, into one of the releases because that warrants a new playthrough because I, I like Morrowinds, my one of my top five um, all time favorite games, and this move not just with the post processing but they're also introducing um, some more stuff to make the if you're a modder and you've been modding Morrowind for a while. You probably had some issues with the different engines and the different way that OpenMW handles mods when compared to the vanilla game. So they're actually trying to make your life easier if you're a modder to bring your mods and make them compatible, which is very, very nice to see. It's very, very Yeah, cool. yeah I mean, that's one of the good things <laughs> the launcher. The launcher now supports adding and removing directories so you can manage your mods with, oh, like ASP, a GUI. Ooh, yeah. That's kind of neat. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I, I looked at the pictures, Pedro, and of course you slap back at this. I looked at the screenshots, and I'm no hate whatsoever. I just from the outside, I, I don't know. That's like that looks like a moral one screenshot. Where my video? I can understand the moving picture things. So if they had like side by side screenshots yeah. of like this or, is or the, the how it was, ones. how it is now, or it's do like, the slidey thing. Yeah, it's like showing off <laughs> DLSS with screen grabs. Fucking yeah. useless. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, the, the other thing here is they are, uh, d ditching the built-in GitLab wiki. So, uh, Aww. suck it GitLab. Uh, also, they're, they're saying, uh, due to the, due to the framework they're putting in for the GPU post processing effects, maybe opens up the door for a VR Morrowind someday. That could be cool. Yep. Lovely. You, you can actually have the, uh, viewport completely moddable to VR or anything else you feel like doing. <laughs> yeah. If, if you want to enter the matrix and just live in more wind fighting mud crabs until your physical body dies, <laughs> this, this is for you. I don't know. I wouldn't that. be entirely opposed to that. See, 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 Pedro's like, oh man, wouldn't that be great? Yeah, he's he's, he's doing cost benefit analysis over <laughs> the, the, here. Fu fucking cipher over here, my god. 
maybe maybe fighting mud crabs in your VR a hell escape reality <laughs> is not your thing. You're a little bit more old school. You want to harken back to the days where we typed in and we called it a video game. Uh, you know, wasn't too long ago. It doesn't seem long ago. About 35 years ago, text adventures when they were just text. We didn't have fancy CG graphics. Well, let's bring that back with Game Shell, a game to learn or teach. How to use standard commands on a Unix shell, to which I will first say, uh, all, all I can, all right. Uh, first thought was this. Now I want Red Jacks of the Dead. That's all I want. <laughs> I'll die happy if I see that. If that somebody, I've spoken that into existence. Let's make it happen. But it does give me a little bit of sad, you know, just reading over the readme, like, what's this used for? Knowing that this might possibly be needed for first year uni students. I'm like, geez, uh, you would assume like if you're in that course, you would kind of know. Maybe I'm just wrong about that. I could understand being in secondary school, something like that. Uh, you know, I did get it installed. You know, it's got a nice little getting started. You know, there's your pseudo app right there. Wget or something, 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 curl, gur, I don't know, bash, dot sh. Uh, yeah, I was able to get up and running on the 3060. Is able to hold a solid 60. Glad to see that. No controller support. Uh, I did make it to the top of the tower. And I get it. I get it. That's like me. I understand. You try to, you know, your directories are your locations that you can get. And you have to traverse inside of a directory and figure out what your goal is. And it's got some additional things on top of that. But I also look forward to um, wondering, like, what the fuck, like, GameShell.sh is my own directory like six months from now I'm like what the fuck was this <laughs> oh man yeah no, that, uh, i uh b- b- because i didn't feel like uh, translating the ubuntu depths to fedora depths mm-hmm. i just built the docker container and so i have a labelless docker container just sitting on my system i'm gonna be like what the fuck is this thing even mm-hmm. um <laughs> but yeah um i, I I've, I've used a similar thing in a post-secondary uh situation called vicky uh, that's used to teach VI. And to, to Ven's point, yeah, um, a lot of first year uh, university students, even if they're going into, um, even if they're going into computer science, a lot of them have not touched a shell before. Um, so this is this is a good way to like get you up to speed. It gives you a lot of practical examples. It teaches you um, teaches you wildcard. Keep teaches you globbing. Might be possible to run that yeah. <laughs> if you have good, Sigwin. <laughs> good luck, Sig- Sigwin in wine. We haven't that's tried, but we're interested in any feedback. Yeah, uh, but like, yeah, like like Ben said, uh, giving giving people a practical laundry list of things to do is a great way to teach them how to do things. And, you know, I, I got to the eighth challenge and I'm like, I'm taking this too seriously for a stupid thing. <laughs> but yeah, but I, I, I had I, like I, a I nice little stop. ASCII, like, trail yeah. one tower and get to the top of the tower. Like, All right. Kill, kill, kill the spiders, kill the hidden spiders. Yeah. It's, it's Listen, thing. man, it was better than like my introductory to um, programming at and like primary was the turtle. Remember the old triangle bastard? Come on, my old peeps. On Apple II, baby. We uh, had those. Pascal? I, it was a fucking triangle that you had to program to go in different directions, and it went in circles and shit like that. Because oh, I was the first yeah. one to figure out it. I was like, this is boring what you're teaching us, and I was making it do loop-de-loops and stuff like that. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm glad stuff like this exists. I hope by the time, if you're take, if you're going like into comp sci or something like that, by the time you're in university, uh, starting out, you have some under... This has got to be I, a better I mean, thing now with like Linux subsystems for Windows, right? You're going to have to uh, have or or, or, or Raspberry sure. Pi. Ra- Raspberry yeah. Pi is the big one. Be- be- because Raspberry like, Pi yeah. is the best. Be- because one. Yeah. like, here's here's the thing. Like, if if you're if before pre Raspberry Pi, you really if you're just a hobbyist, you very rarely had a reason to actually like shell into a Linux machine. But you know, now that it's a thirty five dollar computer, you pop an SD card and play Minecraft off of. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, it's a little different. Well, I think that, and, and, and you look at that, man. Yeah. yeah, like how many kids have grown up like they have a, at least a very rudimentary understanding of how to fucking get set up a server and open up ports. Because why? Want to but the thing server. is, kids growing up nowadays are just used to phones and tablets, and that that's what they know. They don't even know what a file system kids is. Because these days, yeah, Pedro. but that's, that's what you see. They don't even know what the file system is because phones and tablets they obscure that deliberately. Pedro, how is that different <laughs> than kids in our days? The ones that didn't have computers. Same yeah. difference. At least the, they the, have the, computers. It's the ones who read books. Point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there, this is an improvement. Maybe not what we want. Listen. We don't live in our, um, <laughs> Yes, it's, it's a side uh, It's It's the hippin' and the hoppin' <laughs> and the hippin' and the boppin'. Right. And they don't know what the jazz is all about. Oh, man. So, yeah, let's uh, wrap up the uh, text adventure <laughs> with some more. Text Get ye flask. <laughs> oh, man. Welcome this. to the Interactive Fiction Community Forum. Why are we here? To Inform 7, which is an actual program. 1010 is now open source. And... Uh, yeah, what the fuck is inform? Write 
<laughs> yeah, good, good luck. Good luck figuring that out because uh, I took a crack at it. I fortunately, there, there was a link. Uh, the core software distribution for the Inform 7 programming language, which, you know, the best that uh, Jordan and I could tell, you know, it's programming language, creating it, um, interactive fiction, natural language syntax. And <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, you actually write what you want it to do in natural language and it will attempt to figure it out. And here's the thing, man. I mean, that's what it says. I realize that's out of my pay grade, but you know, I even took a peek around on itch and a couple of games have been using this, right? Jordan? Yeah. There's, there's, there's a couple text adventure games. Uh, I think this is going to be very useful for like muds and stuff, but I think, uh, the, the other thing, uh, in, in that article I did, uh, grok is that uh, it gets used a lot in industry just for prototyping, just for mm. like c- coming up with some like basic paths for stuff. Um, it's 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 a good tool for that. So you know, more. Well, more open. let's go ahead and check out the uh, seasonal, seasonal apocalypse, apocalypse disorder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I mean, shit. More open source game tech is cool, right? Like, yeah, it's text parsing, but shit, man. People, some people like that. It's clearly on itch. They made a bunch of them. Uh, well, hang on, we gotta check out. Uh, Lobster's on, on a plane. plane. A flying tube of riveted aluminium. Uh, <laughs> all right, you, you have my attention. I think I think a lot of these are also game jam games, but again, like get yes. get your creative idea out there, make it make it into something. And I'm this is a tool you can prototype. I'm yeah, complete fucking hypocrite because growing up, I fuck all didn't play the text games. That was for like hyper nerds, and I'm like, give me something with a <laughs> pixel sprite moving around, kind of, and I was happy. But I'm glad this is there because it's a better love story than whatever that is uh, that we see on Steam. The uh, choose your own adventure. Oh, the, are, the uh, pie game, yes. Ren Pie, whatever. Whatever. They don't even bother with the art. I'm like, come on. No, that's the thing. Yeah. They only have the art. They have, like, really, like, an, an amazing <laughs> so, um, Sometimes logo. they jiggle. Sometimes they yeah. jiggle. Dude. An amazing logo on the thing, and then just, oh, it's All just the screenshots. The, it's just that. Yeah. 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 All okay. right. Yeah. Well, uh, we're, we're, we're going to attempt to jiggle in the Wiggle depths jiggle. of space. Coming <laughs> up next, bump. we're throwing chairs at Gravity Ace. Riggedy Reel. Welcome back to the Chair Acquisition. Uh, what, what is it? It's when we take a game, install it on a bunch of different Linux distributions, and give you give you our uh, three-minute review, or less, and uh, a final score based on our highly accurate, highly scientific lawn chair metric. Dr. Michio Kaku uses it to rate astrophysics papers, so it should be good enough for Four you Four out well. of five theremins agree. Indeed. Um, yeah, this week we're taking a look at Gravity Ace. It's by Dr. John Watson, Sherlock Holmes's companion, I assume. Uh, it's not mm-hmm. on the Godot engine. Uh, you can pick it up for about $15 US. What is it? Gravity Ace is a 2D multi-directional gravity shooter, a.k.a. a cave flyer. It's a love letter to Thrust, Gravatar, and all the amazing games they inspired. Lay me wings. Thank, Lay me yeah, wings. <laughs> we got to thank uh, Dr. Watson for sending us some keys. Uh, to this game, so uh, let's get into it uh, on Woo-hoo. Debian. How does how's it work? Get on it, get on it. I got. I, um, I might be in the bottom of the show notes. We need to get up. Uh, <laughs> scroll, <laughs> scroll, scroll, damn it! <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, three minutes to do this. this is going to be pretty easy. So check this out over here in Debian Eleven Land. That's where I like to live, running XFCE four and a thread booper nineteen twenty X powered by a thirty sixty little baby one. <sighs> Run pretty good, but I will say. Uh, the first thing I noticed, because I always head straight into the options menu, using a controller and pressing up and down kind of does two moves in the menus and options. Uh, that's something I can repeat. That needs to be fixed. Uh, there's also an option for speedrunning. <laughs> Adventurous. I like that. I like seeing that full screen. It works. Uh, window is choose your own adventure mode. Just drag and resize wherever you want to be. I did notice you were hitting zero DB in the level completion stat screen with a prrrm. you need to fucking cut that shit down. I mean, you peek into the red right there. I mean, this is not the loudness wars. This is a goddamn video game. Don't hurt people's hearing. Take that down about a DB, DB and a half. Uh, do yourself a favor on that. There is a uh, classic control mode. More on that. Pedro's going to cover that a little bit more, but out of the box with the controller with the X loan, didn't have an issue with it. I want to say good work on that. Plus it has a nice little pop-up for the controllers and the keyboard presses. I love seeing that. And, um, yeah, chiptune soundtrack, pretty decent. Did I mention level editor? That's available as well. But quite a bit going on in the game itself for the fun. You fly the ship, grapple the things, keep an eye on the shield and the fuel while engaging in bullet hell, while shooting baddies, while rescuing people and collecting space coins while using a tractor beam for your space ball. That's a bit much, eh? <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, I, I, I can think, uh, like, you could pick any three of those. You need to have an enjoyable game. Hell, you could pick four and call it challenge mode. 
Dooming all eight, possibly nine, uh, resulted in my old ass getting killed to death. Quite a lot. Yeah, I know. Good, good, scrub. And I did. Kinda. Made myself finish the first section. Then I ran out of cares. Honestly, you know, I think, like, maybe if I could just have a shield that worked and didn't cause my ship to fuck my ring explode every time, I could come back and play some more. You know, I could manage that juggling act uh, if that just wasn't a factor. But it is. I got tired of exploding. Kind of tapped out. Did I mention that speedrun mode? Just, really? Um, okay. So if you're a kind of a big fan of unintentional frustration, rage inducing games, uh, give Gravity Ace a look. It's regularly priced, uh, at one Hollow Knight. So yeah, I mean, everything functions. The menu's a little funky. Graphics are good. Decent soundtrack on it. I think it is unintentionally difficult is what I'll say. And it's also priced at one Hollow Knight. So two chairs, sort of one. Yeah, on Fedora 3564, a bit with the R9 3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti launches, holds 60 at quote unquote full screen. If you want another resolution, you got to click and drag. Uh, DualShock 4 works out of the box with Xbox prompts, whether or not you're using Steam input or not. Um, the controller, it, like Ven said, is super sensitive in the menus. You're going to want to be using the keyboard and mouse for that. I didn't find the controls quite as offensive as Pedro did. They're pretty standard for your retro booster likes. At least I feel nothing awful, just kind of standard bad for cave shooters. Um, it's hipster pixely. All the sprite art is super clear. Well done. Everything is very clear. Uh, no character blindness. And there is a soundtrack. It's okay. Uh, fun wise. Cave shooters like racing or mini golf. One of the genres of games that intellectually, I understand why people like them, but I, I, I just don't understand, especially cave shooters. Like, so someone clearly people like them because so many people are making them, but I think it's just the people making them who actually like them. Uh, anyways, uh, gravity Ace isn't too bad though. You, it's your standard. You got to rescue the peoples. You got to collect the, the coins as Ven said, but the most important thing you got to do is grab balls, big, big blue balls. Sometimes you got to let your balls float though, because you can only grab one thing at a time, but goddamn, after you're done, you got to grab those balls. If you want to play more of the game, the rest of it comes down to navigating increasingly claustrophobic corridors while minding your nanny fuel bar and trying to engage in space combat, which basically just boils down to spray and pray. And hopefully you don't cl collide with a wall. Cause that's going to be the thing that kills you most of the time. Um, and yeah, like, Ben said, if it comes with letter level editor, if you're feeling particularly creative, but they don't provide a facility for actually sharing those levels. So I'm assuming we're going to have to make those files available somehow. This is where Steam Workshop integration comes in. I did not see anything for that. Something to improve on, maybe with the next release. I don't know. Like I, The genre doesn't really do much for me. It's not the worst example of the genre I have played, but it's not like super great either. It's Flat in the middle of the road. I'll give it two chairs. Well, Pedro. I don't know. <laughs> Over here on the uh, Ryzen 7 3700X and a GTX 1080, it launched out of the box on the Steam Deck and also launched out of the box. Uh, it V-syncs properly to whatever your screen happens to do. Uh, 144 here, um, or 40 in my case, on the Steam Deck. Uh, because, yeah, no, the, it does proper v-sync if you go into the options and enable that it didn't like the dual shock or the dual sense if i was using them over blue teeth if i plug them in it actually would let me uh, drive the ship but over um, blue teeth it did not and so i ended up using the uh, by monk pro 4 which is just uh, one of those uh, generic uh, controllers that does uh, D input and X input at will. You just have to pick which mode you'd like to use it in. The gra uh, I'll, I'll get back to the controls in a second, though. Uh, the hipster pixely graphics uh, are pretty good, and I did like the, uh, the sound design. The background music, I appreciated it so much so that I even tapped the icon in the uh, main menu. There's a little uh, music icon tapped on that, and... Um, well, uh, the soundtrack is for sale, but it was like eight pounds. If it had been five, I would have bought it right then and there. So, you know, consideration. Uh, but now we can discuss the controls. Uh, this is where you, the fun usually goes, but there was no fun to be had for me. So, yeah. I said last week that music can make or break graph, uh, more uh, make or break a game more so than graphics ever could. 
But there's one thing that m- makes or breaks games even more than um, music, and that is controls. Controls are how us fleshy meat bags interact with a virtual world. It's how developers dictate how much agency we as real people have in the surreal world that they created. And the two control schemes that are available in Gravity Ace are shit. They're absolute shit. Uh, with one, you have, which is the modern one, let's call it that, for the other one they dubbed it classic. Uh, with one, you get was or the directional arrows or the left analog stick, and when you push one of those buttons, the ship moves uh, in that direction. So you push left on your analog stick, and instead of the uh, ship turning left, it actually moves to the left. Okay. That's fine. And then you have your right stick or your mouse to aim uh, where you want to shoot at. Great. Can I have a combination of the two? No. No, you can't. In fact, you can't reassign individual keys. So all you have are two... Um, two control schemes, which the classic mode is just you point the ship in the direction you want to shoot and away you go. And in that one, if you actually turn the, to the left or to the right, it actually turns as it should but neither of the control schemes are great and just to put a finer point on that the default keys uh to shoot with the classic mode on the keyboard are shift and enter i i did not have fun i really didn't one chair i think i think this is pretty standard when we've uh, run into stuff like uh Retro Booster or that other cave shooter we But ran, I like Retro had. Booster. Retro Did Booster's you? control I, scheme, yes. <laughs> I gave it two okay. chairs. That was one. Uh, <laughs> it's the, for me, it was just too much juggling because we were talking about, I think, again, uh, might have just been in the pre-show, about uh, Fly Dangerous, like Elite Dangerous. I, I feel like you have less going on in like um, spatial management <laughs> in a space flight sim than you do in this. It's, it's a yeah, lot but- going on, man, at one time. And again, old man opinion too but it that that hammered in to like do i want to come back to this like no not yeah. not like this and it's ghetto and we know for a fact that you can do rebindable controls in ghetto because yes, we've you seen can. it <laughs> uh this is probably one of those things where you want to give people options when you're having to juggle this much bullshit yeah and, and like I, wouldn't you I, have I think- Go ahead. I was just gonna say, I think like the 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 cave shooter gravity thing combined with the shmup is kind of two two game genres that don't particularly mash well together because yeah, there's there's too much micromanaging. It's kind of it kind of just becomes an exercise in spray and pray. So, and mm. let's just you know for a moment assume that not everyone's you know two hands are perfect. If you are asking me to aim with the right analog stick and then shoot with the right trigger. Yeah, my right hand is not big enough to accomplish that. So let me remap the shoot button somewhere else, which I can't fucking do. That's not cool. Can you so, remap with um Steam input? Yes. But that's that's a third party thing. That's Steam basically doing the developer's job for them. Well, it's Proton <laughs> all over again. But uh yeah, no, there's absolutely no reason for that not to be in your game in twenty twenty two. It really isn't. Alright. So I guess it's one point five chairs. Coming <laughs> up next. Uh, Psychonauts 2 is out, so let's try and get the worst possible version of Psychonauts run- 1 running on Linux. Fuck yeah. I, I, I keep being told that it's Morbin time, and yet I really don't feel it. But I assure See, you. now that you've said that, somebody's going to suggest it, and by the time we get done with this, I'm going to look at vote.linuxteamcast.com. It's going to have like 50 <laughs> upvotes, and we got to... <laughs> Yes, it is. Don't, don't, uh, don't, don't let your memes be dreams, man. <laughs> At some point in the future, I'm going to morb. When? I don't know, but it, it, it's a thing that will happen. D- if you d- would like to tell us. us when you morbed the first time, maybe it was the night of your 20th birthday. I don't know. Uh, you can let us know. You just go to linuxgamecast.com. You hit the contact button. There's a forum you got to fill. That was oddly specific, but I'm going to roll with it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll and pick it. LGC Weekly as the show that you'd like to send your hate mail to. Otherwise, there's some um, caveats that you may want to read at the top of the page. They are 
I'd say relatively important because if you don't read them and the thing doesn't let you send your message or it, you send the message and no one ever replies, it's because the spam golem got it. Yeah. That, that. Oh, no, we're absolutely <laughs> ignoring you. <laughs> or that. Like, like Morbius, uh, <laughs> the spam golem feeds on your hyperlinks and shit. That's why there's a... I, I thought Email Morbius address. feeds on plasma and not blood because now he's not an actual vampire. Have you ever, have you ever gotten licked your way to the center of a hyperlink? I think not, sir. <laughs> That's what. How you many think. licks does it take to the, get to the center of a URL? I don't know. I protect smart up. Just crack it up and suck that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, the, those angle brackets are sharp, but once you once you warm your te- your tongue in between those, it's, it's good. I'm telling you, baby. I mean, you can use HRF. your teeth. That's cheating. Yeah. <laughs> so some people genuinely hate themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Clear, clearly. Ren, Ren is one of those people. Uh, they write in and they say, do you know of a way to get the Amazon games version of the OG Psychonauts working Stop. in mine? Stop. Am I alone uh, and going, Amazon games has a thing? Yes. Yeah, a- 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 apparently. Okay, I was like, T.I.L. on that. <laughs> yeah, he got it free uh, years ago and would really like to not have to repurchase it on Steam since he never finished the first game. Uh... You know, I first, first step would probably get, be to go to Lutris.com, use that handy search engine to see if someone has actually solved this problem for you. Back uh, in the day, uh, I remember doing um, AppDB, uh, just starting a Google search with AppDB, ooh. name of the game, <laughs> and you're going to the, the Wine application the database. Sorry, L- Lutris.net. Mm. <laughs> there we go. See, even even Lutris doesn't know himself. I'm like, he's like, fuck all of it. Lutris.ca. <laughs> That that's the URL. How that you, like I get like how did that work? You just download the executable and um, yeah, just, just uh, you downloaded one. the Amazon uh, Games executable. Oh, you read the that, Amazon uh, Games executable. <laughs> there's the Amazon dash Games dash app, according to mm-hmm. this writer. Uh, ah, so, yes, so you, can probably, you can probably install it through that. Mm. Which you have a yeah, the app launches. We know that much. Yeah. And then you can probably just have a look at uh, what people used to do back in the day to get Psychonauts for Windows running, and away you go. <laughs> I mean, you know, you'd think with like modern wine, maybe you don't even need to do that much. You never know. You may get lucky. Yes, you, you, <laughs> yeah. have, I, you have no idea, nor do I, of like yeah. what random bullshit awaits that adventure. No. Yeah, right. yeah, it, it could, it just could work perfectly smooth. You could it's, spend hours I, on it. Just put it on your wish list on Steam and wait until it's like ninety percent off. Ninety nine cents, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's in it's in uh, humble bundle sometimes too. Yeah, but I guess it made the yeah, rounds. It's been like, on two. Yes, yeah. two already. <laughs> like at this point, it's like a classic game, right? All right. Strider seems to think it'll work out of the box. So okay. uh, send your hate mail to Strider if it doesn't work. Right. Um, that's how you do that. Look at that. We were like, help. Thank you, Strider. If you're wow. wondering, Strider made Lutris. So blame him if there's yeah. any problem. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the creator of Lutris just went, yeah, do that. <laughs> so, so as Mr. Foxstock said, go to vote.linuxgamecast.com and turn off dark mode, please. <laughs> it wouldn't work on mine. I can defeat it because I have, I'm always dark mode, bitch. <laughs> That's my secret, Tony. I'm yeah. always dark mode. <laughs> On that option. Let's do the music. You can always find us nonsense kicking off around 8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time right here on Twitch. But if you're one of the awesome people helping finance this goddamn train wreck, hell, hop in our Discord. If you're an executive producer, you get a live video. If you're a Death Note or above, we got live audio. Just waiting around for your face hole. But scream in my direction, like Ren did, on the Twitters at uh, Vin Stone. That's what I'm doing. The things there, posting stuff. We have a mast.linuxgamecast.com. If you want to toot at me, just at Vin hanging out over there. Love to hear from you. Allegedly. I am Jordan, the living vampire, approved by the Comics Code Authority. I drink plasma and not blood, so I'm not a vampire. Hyperlinks, beware. Hyperlinks. <laughs> uh, follow, follow me on Twitter, at TheBurningFool, or twitch.tv slash burningfool. And you can follow me on Twitter. It's at unaccounted for F O U R. Someone already had the one with the actual number four, so I had to I I spell it out. Uh, but yes, squatting that, that's. I, I I'm I'm actually yeah he's basically squatting on it because he has no followers and hasn't tweeted since like 2012. Uh, so <laughs> it was 15 bucks. Come on. What are they <laughs> But yeah, it is. Uh, I, I I'm very very close to 666 followers. I'm six short so you know don't forget to click confirm when you click unfollow i have no idea how many followers 
<laughs> you, you people have followers? I don't know. People talk to me. The computer thing. I actually have that pointed out to me, so that's why I know. <laughs> it's like liquid paper. Well, it's like that plasma-filled time. hyperlinks, baby. The uh, it's that time of the year again. That time that we end <laughs> Linux Game Caps episode five ten. We gotta thank our advisors, Omegas, our Theron, and Linux our executive Game producers: Aldius, Barbara, Scott, Michelle, Atomic Ass, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer, Kohaku, George, Pedible, and Unoid, and our little Nick Finns, <laughs> Darkwing, and Abstraction, aka Nixon's Pyramid. Sea Monsters, sea monsters. Jack B, Renault L, Ryder X Machina, Truggy, Verifanuda, Justin Froskal, Strider, Hakim, and Nummin. Thanks again, Strider. And Death Notes, Nova K, Basil, Chad, Romeo, Marson, System T, Craig, Renee, Leonardo, DeCresney, Kim, Smashly G, Chris, Stephen Jill, there they are, Benjamin, Doom to the Wood, Stephen B, Dirty Dean, Back, Gamatron, Dodgers, Anthurus Gaming, Everybody Luke, pick your favorite turnover, cheerling. Turnover, Cheesy Bacon, Yannick, Kaijure, and Mr. This Foxstock. week, my favorite cheerling is Rohit. Razmawada. Todd. Um, <laughs> Todd is my favorite. <laughs> fucking Todd. Always Todd, man. What did Todd do for you? <laughs> what can Todd do is you? always coming in from behind, though. <laughs> oh, man. All the you fighting. You think it'd be from yeah. the front. <laughs> That's analingus. That if I ever want. Get, goodbye. We'll see you next goodbye, week. children. Bye. <laughs>